Hey, Sugar Bee, thank you for tuning in to this week's edition of My Tarot Read. And there is a lot going on. I mean, from the Dalai Lama issue uh, to the U.S. dollar falling, the LGD, uh, LGBTQ community, um, everything that's going on with the former president, Donald Trump. I mean, you name it, it's happening all over. However, one of the things that is really taking the front seat is the economy. And everyone is wondering what's going on with the economy. There are five, four or five leading countries currently that have decided to no longer use the USD as their uh, common uh, trade for uh, purchasing oil. And this is a big deal because these countries have banded together to choose to use a currency other than the, the exchange currency of the U.S. dollar. Now, I'm not one to say I know what all that means because I'm going to tell you I don't know what all that means. I do know, though, that the uh, president, uh, one of the African presidents, uh, warned his country about the, the shilling, that if they had their money uh, tied up in the value of the U.S. dollar, that they needed to do whatever they could to convert their money back into a shilling or whatever they were going to use because the U.S. dollar is no longer going to be um, uh, valuable in their country. And so there are expats that live in Kenya that are literally saying, hey, uh, this is a big deal because our money, um, let's just say retirement money or anything like that has gone, uh, helps us to go really far. We can buy a lot with our money. It goes a long way. Well, that's going to be reversed and that money won't be worth anything in these countries, uh, especially the countries that's um, connected with the acronym BRINCS. So um, this is a really interesting concern because if that value is no longer accepted um, in these other countries, then what is it doing for for the people here that actually live in the United States? It's, especially if when you're trading um, that you're not able to gain uh, uh, monetary uh, value from from trade, right? So there is a lot to be said about what's going on and there, it, there is a lot to be concerned with. So I pulled the cards and it was about the uh, U.S. economy and the decline of the the U.S. dollar, and I I got three cards and not near one of them is a good card. Um, the first card I got is the Son of Sticks. Just so you know, I'm using the Hoodoo Tarot by Tayana Boys, uh, Tayana um, McKellar, and illustrated by um, Caitlin Boise. Now this is the Son of Sticks. It really is the Page of Wands. Okay. However, it showed up reverse. So that card right there is letting me know that that um, there's no more time to play, and and yet at the same time, uh, um, there's a, a measure of defeat that's happening. Uh, the young page is um, usually an energy that is thriving, wants to learn, could be a little immature, right? However, they've lost their um, ability to be the fresh one on the block, the one with the new standard, the one that's setting the tone, the one with the fresh, innovative ideas. It's no longer happening for the United States. Everyone around the world seems to be tired of the shenanigans of the financial world of the United States, as well as everything else that's going on. Okay, so the next card which falls in the current position is four of knives and that's four of swords right there now it's very interesting that four of swords says there is usually a person that's contemplating however in this case because it's followed by the sun of sticks or the page of wands reversed then it's a very it's 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 complacent and not knowing what else to do. You, you can't move anywhere because you don't have enough resource um, mentally or emotionally to be able to uh, convey what you need to. So therefore, uh, they're not being listened to. 
whatever the U.S. is saying in regards to this U.S. dollar being valuable and that it needs to be used in these other countries, it's not being heard. It's falling on deaf ears. And so the four of baskets reverse shows up. There you go. Four of baskets reverse. So there's a loss in the foundation. Uh, we're losing, uh, and I shouldn't say we, the United States is losing their foundation even in, in um, acquiring goods um, uh, for the exchange of what of whatever it is that's needed that is used here in the United States. So you got to think about that when it comes to uh, foods that are exported here for trade, right? We think about rice. Um, uh, yeah, I think about rice a lot because you there's a lot of rice that comes from from outside of the country, um, China and India. So there are staples that are will be affected um, in regards to um, our sustainability here and what that means for us. That means that our 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 the dollar is not going to be able to purchase a lot. So it's going to get more expensive here. So this is um, this spread right here is an indicator that. Um, that the times are going to get rougher. Um, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, really bad. <laughs> and so I'm looking at this, this spread and it doesn't look good. Um, and, and here with this four of knives, it usually it's a meditation card. Um, like stay put, contemplate. This card says that they're complacent and they can't move. And they're not in touch with reality. Um, and uh, that's going to reflect for for everyone this this government and the way that the money's being run that it's not in touch and it's going to really we're going to really fare uh, badly when it comes to our money and um, also uh, this just came to me but I started thinking about um, uh, people that may decide to leave this country they you you you'll probably see people moving and that, that four of baskets it's it's like they're they're dropping everything they're dropping everything to to leave because there's nothing left and so it may behoove um people to start looking for other places to go um so that they can thrive so that the money that they do have they can convert it into the uh, currency of that uh, location and it actually be viable to be used um uh, yeah, uh, to sustain to to sustain us, right? To s sustain uh, each person. So I'm not telling you to move. I am saying that the economy here is getting um, more and more uh, treacherous, and especially since the other countries are banding together uh, purposely. Um, they literally, you can see the enemy of my enemy is my friend happening right here. And um, that might mean that you uh, may not be involved in those political affairs. However, those politics or that political um, experience is, is definitely going to affect every person that lives here in the United States. Anyways, that is what I wanted to share because it, it's, um, it's pretty intense. There's more. There's more about these parts in regards to what's happening. Um, um, however, I think it, it it's... Um, there's enough here to be understood that in the next three years, I pulled three cards, um, it's going to be very, very tough for a lot of people. And so finding a different place to live might be conducive to your well-being. Okay, that's what I have to say today. I'll be back next time. Mwah.